Uh, next, I would like to uh, request Dr. Raj Shekhar, uh, Divisional Commissioner of Kanpur Nagar, Divikar Nagar. And he is uh, from Gulbar, uh, Karnataka, and 2004 IES batch from Uttar Pradesh. Uh, Dr. Shekhar. We are very grateful to the uh, Chandrakanta Keshavan Center IIT and also uh, the team and all the uh, delegates, those who are representing uh, in this uh, conference and also all the students, those who are interested uh, in this particular topic. Okay, uh, to start with, uh, I would like to brief about the Kanpur 2047. It's a, it's a new, very new concept uh, which we started almost uh, two months back. The main objective of this concept is ki how a resident of Kanpur wish to see his city by the year 2047. That is after 100 years of independence. So we have reached that 75 years. And again, the challenging part is the next 25 years will be uh, very difficult when it comes to the, especially the climate change. So how we are coping up with that particular change? What are the modalities? What are the strategies that has to be adopted in terms of the administrative setup and in terms of the technology where the IIT Kanpur is playing a major role in this. Okay, uh, these are the main uh, four concern areas, what we can say uh, when it comes to the Kanpur. Because everyone knows that these four uh, points like growing vehicular traffic is the uh, concern number one. Growing trend of solid waste, what we observed in the last uh, almost uh, a decade plus, the solid waste, uh, it's every the generation of the solid waste every day is uh, increasing. The third is the depleting forest cover. Yeah, we are every year we are carrying out the uh, forestation campaign. Uh, in the months of uh, July to August, but again, it's a matter of concern uh, because uh, we are dealing uh, with this problem in rural areas, especially uh, depletion of the forest. The fourth one is the challenges in keeping the Ganga clean and abundant because we have almost a 38 kilometer stretch of Ganga in Kanpur city. Next. Uh, these are the uh, few dilemma what uh, the India is facing as of now. The developed countries versus the developing countries. Because we just can't compare both of them. Their energy needs and their strategy for this uh, uh, zero emission and the, what the India is practicing right now, where we have as on date and what our development agendas, development goals for the next uh, maybe uh, 40, 50 years, it's entirely different. So we can't compare both of them. Secondly, development versus the environmental, there is always a debate. Whenever there is a development issue, there is always an uh, issue of the conservation of the environment. Next. Lifestyle versus the environment. This is the third point. Next is the cost benefit alternative and the timeline. Okay, we, are, we have to shift one or the other day. But what is the cost benefit analysis and how much time we are taking for that particular year? If you see uh, in the year uh, 2021, that is last year, Honorable uh, Prime Minister in his uh, Glasgow address, he outlined these uh, five uh, objectives, or maybe you can say the uh, agenda points. And I am just concerned about uh, uh, the last one, okay, that India will achieve the net zero by 2070. So we have almost another uh, 50 years to achieve this particular target. Again, in his address, Honorable Prime Minister said, we need to change our lifestyle for the sake of the environment. That is lifestyle for the environment. This is the biggest point where every citizen is concerned and every citizen has his own role in reaching out this particular goal. So uh, what we need to do as an administrator, because I am dealing only with the part of the administration because technology is, is also an important part, but as an administrator, we need to do these five points. One is the effective, practical and implementable policy framework. As of now, we don't have any uh, exclusive policy for the climate change or the 
conservation of the nature. Second one is we should have a strong legal backing, which is also lacking as on date. Maybe in bits and pieces we have many rules, regulations, acts of different departments, but there we should have a very comprehensive legal backing so that we can enforce it in time and effectively. Next is the mass awareness campaign. If you see ki without uh, the participation, active participation and the support from the stakeholders, this particular campaign will not yield that uh, desired results. So mass awareness at all the levels. So it's very important uh, part of the component where the administration plays a role. Next is adopting environment friendly lifestyle, what the Honorable PM has emphasized in his uh, address in 2021. The fifth is the reliable, sustainable and cost eff effective technology for alternative where the IIT plays a key role in ensuring that the technology should be reliable, sustainable and cost effective so that we can make use of them for the easy shift. Next. This is the uh, that 2047 what we are provisioning uh, this particular agenda. You have a resident of Kanpur wish to see his city by the year 2047. We need to have this joint efforts in the field of reduction in the vehicular pollution by improving the public transport system. You can see, uh, I would like to take examples, two examples, two initiatives of the uh, central government. One is the uh, starting of the metro. In the, since last uh, December 2021, uh, metro is operational in Kanpur city. It's one of the milestone where we can shift from the small vehicles to the public transport system. The second one initiative which uh, uh, I would like to emphasize is the DFCC, that is dedicated uh, freight corridor. So uh, where uh, we will reduce the number of uh, uh, the transport, large transport vehicles by using uh, this uh, DFCC, where that will directly contributing to the reduction of the pollution and also the congestion. The next one is the reduction in the solid waste generation and its effective disposal, oblique recycling, boosting and supporting alternative energy sources like solar and wind energy. Next is joining hands with IIT Kanpur for cost-effective, reliable and sustainable technology. The last but the most important is environment-friendly lifestyle through mass awareness campaigns. So, thank you very much and again I would like to thank uh, the IIT team and also the uh, center, Chandrakanta K7 center and also especially Sudhakarji because he is here with us and all the uh, team of IIT Kanpur and all the delegates who are representing this uh, particular conference. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Shekhar. And uh, I'm glad to hear all the initiative for our own Kanpur city and how we are planning for the next 25 years.